Today, we're gonna talk about our essentials slash most worn clothing, and I'm gonna start with the shorts. My number one pair of shorts is this pair of Rick Owens cargo boxing shorts from SS16. They're made of Rick's signature cotton and feature a mid length with two hanging cargo pockets on the front and two flat pockets on the back. The actual construction of the cargo pocket is pretty interesting. It's paneled in and the back side of it is 3D. So when you put something in it, it kind of flares out. The next pair of shorts is a colorway of the utility short. For whatever reason, the fabric in this colorway is super rigid and really robust. It has a nice smooth hand feel. Apart from that, these have the same front pocketing as the original design with a flap and zipper pocket on the left side and two flat pockets and two zipper pockets on the right side. They also feature the same snaps as the first design. All the hardware is completely bone. Another note is that I removed the side vent on this pair. We shot some photos for them over on the Jacob Instagram. And uh, if you guys want to check them out, the link will be below. Bone utility short. The next pair of shorts is a pair that I've gotten countless wears out of. These shorts are by 11 by BBS and they're object dyed. They have this front fly, a zipper pocket, and a open pocket on the side, and two back pockets. This pair of shorts right here I absolutely love. These are a pair of Ponyok airbag shorts. They're made of this matte ballistic nylon that is relatively thick and they feature this crinkle all throughout them. The stitching contrasts slightly. It's kind of like a yellowish black and a reddish black and it's some kind of thicker nylon yarn so it really is bulky the design is pretty standard they're almost like a chopped off pant and they have this little high back logoing on the back as well next up is a pair of shorts from rick owens these are the rick owens box shorts these are dark shadow they came out a couple of years ago and they're made of his signature cotton the design features this webbing across the front which is kind of anatomical it lines up with your legs and almost makes you look like a stick figure all of rick's shorts in this pattern are kind of a medium to shorter length they're definitely not the longest now Next up, we have a pair of wax shorts from 11 by BBS. These are kind of similar to the Rick ones. They have the hanging cargo pocket on the side. They're made of a wax cotton, which is really smooth to the touch. It's not waxy whatsoever. They're definitely drop crotch. They have no back rise seam. Next up, we have two longer Rick shorts. First one up is from the Inhuman Subhuman Superhuman Exhibition. Very drop crotch, two flat pockets on the back. The other ones are the ones I got in the last video. They both feature the bottom panel. These ones have a back zipper pocket. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Fernando moved apartments. What's the setup? There is no setup. This is all the shit I had in my last apartment plopped in here. I'm gonna sell it all. This so is dope though. This is dumb as fuck. I got the bed right there. These are tokens. Very essential. My shit's blowing up right now. Calm foams. Essential right here. It's called the Juliet balcony. Got the fountain right there. Time to go into the closet. These are all the pants I don't wear. Here's an unreleased pair of unsound jeans in a leather version. Calf leather, fully lined. These are Alexander McQueen trousers. I had Taylor like unsound jeans, which is kind of stupid. Carol overlock trousers with that pretty interesting texture. Unsound jeans, Rick Berlin's unsound jeans, Dior jeans. Helmet painters, unsound hoodie, Raf PCL hoodie. You get a lot of wear out of that one. Oh yeah, I wear it every day. Virginia Creeper, New Order, Touched by the Hand of God hoodie, Jacob unreleased puffer. Easy uh, gap. No, this is Raf Raf. Raf. Hussein Chilean helmet, unsound X Fostex garments, overdyed snow camo. So you can, if you get close, you can kind of see the, kind of see the camo pattern. This is a new essential, AstroTurf Mercurial Superflies. These are my beaters. These are the boots we don't speak about that everyone wants to know the ID on. The OG comb foams, really good quality. Guidi bag zips, charcoal optic wood. Is that black? Well, bro, awesome essentials. Keep up the good work. Sleep with this every night. Keeps me sound asleep. We're filming your essentials slash favorite clothes. What do you got? Gotta start with the t-shirts. These aren't necessarily my most worn t-shirts, but these are some t-shirts that I got. Nigo never smiles. I got this 
Prada shirt from Prada. This is another one I got, but you know, it just reminds me of the old days. To cover up your t-shirts, you always need something that's open in the middle, long sleeves. Got this general research button down. It's for left-handed people, has pockets on the right side. Everyone's seen these, but they're very versatile. Needles flannel. And then I just recently got this Maharishi knit. It's pretty thick, I haven't worn it yet. My next essential, which kind of is a transition from this, is camo stuff. The reason why I like camo is because it goes with everything. Some camo pants here, Stussy, our legacy, and another transition to this camo hat. Gore-Tex, of course. I just got this in Thailand. It's just an unmarked hat that says R. And I also picked up this hat, it's a Supreme hat. More kind of like light outerwear. This is a cable knit. This one's Stussy. It's breathable, but it's still a layer. And lastly, you just need pants. I'm not wearing some like work pants or camo pants. I'll probably wear these Levi's. Quick step. A belt is much needed. This is a helmet laying belt. It's a press sample. Olive green goes with everything. Those are my essentials. Cut. Right now, I'm gonna run through my favorite boots slash shoes slash sandals. Let's go. Starting it off with the sandals, we have the Rick Owens Arizona Birkenstock. This is it in the matte leather color web. It's got a pretty traditional Birkenstock design with some extra belt loops, I think some different buckles, with a leather footbed and just leather all around. Next up is the Visvim Cristo. I've had these for years, gotten tons of wear out of them. I left them out in the sun for a summer and they got really faded, they're pretty messed up, but a great sandal. And the final sandal is this Solomon RX Slide. This is the Boris Bajan Sabari collaboration. So they have the object dye all around. Solomon also makes these on their own in different colorways. If you're on the fence about these, I'd say go for them. I find myself getting a lot of wear out of these. They're a great little slide. Next up, we have shoes slash sneakers. And I've had a ton of different pairs of sneakers and shoes over the years from Vans to Asics to military shoes. And the ones that I've been wearing the most, you could probably already guess, is Bohr Solomon's. I just love these shoes. Starting from the Bomba 5, I believe the first model that I got from him. Tons of different colorways, really interesting design, taping, dye, to the Speedcross 1X, also object dyed, bunch of different cool colorways, and uh, different iterations. I find they look good with shorts, they look good with pants, they're comfortable, and they fit my wardrobe. The final category is boots. My favorite are the Bohr Solomon 2 GTXs. I'm between a hiker and a high top boot. I think they look really good with pants. Not the best with shorts. Solomon also makes this exact model in different colorways, but this is just the Boris collab. These are my favorite shoes, my shoe essentials. Let's continue with the video. US Air Force 330, Vintage Pro Club, Helmet Lane 1050. Summer transition to fall vibe. Stitch. Oh shit, don't look at that. Fuck! So we've been working on a source that's gonna help people identify what season their pieces are. So even when it's gone, we still have everything documented. But yeah, this is my nerdy project that has zero return other than for the pieces. On the right, we got Brose. On the left, we got Sis. These are my two homies that will never leave me. And they don't talk. These are fiberglass mannequins from Italy. They're the ones that they use at the Met Museum. We asked for a cement finish. Check that body. Bro, it's too thick. I told him the 29 waist. In the Margiela, a magazine curated by, right? There's a how-to on how to make the Fall Winter 91 artisanal military sock sweater. We just made some socks, so we made our own sock sweater. This is how it looks on body. Three new kids hoodies. Raf consume shirt. Socks. <clears throat> Some of the best socks. Best socks. Jesus. Okay. Best city. Look at the sky. Look at the concrete. Look at the. Look at bro over there. <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. 
At this point in the video, I'm gonna run through a couple of my favorite hoodies slash jackets. Starting off with this Helmet Lang Autumn Winter 98 hooded down jacket. My favorite helmet jacket that I own. It's made of a vintage military cotton with a really nice fading all throughout with a light goose padding. The design features this front zipper, two pockets on the side, a chest pocket, and some paneling around the hood. It's a size 48. I love how it fits. Every time I get the chance to wear this, I'm really happy. When it rains, I throw on this acronym jacket. It's made of a 100% Gore-Tex and has two front waterproof zippers, two chest waterproof zipper pockets, and two snap pockets below them, and a front flap pocket. It also has zippers under the armpits for ventilation, and a bungee on the bottom so you can adjust the fit. And overall, this is a very intricate and well-made jacket. In terms of hoodies, my favorite vintage hoodie is the Lee. You can get these online, they're pretty accessible, and the best blanks in my opinion are from the 90s. And this other one is in a charcoal color. I believe this one is older, and the pouch pocket can next to the ribbing on the sides. These are my favorite go-to hoodies and jackets. This is a really good hazy IPA if y'all are looking for an IPA. Look at how much pre-work I have. One to rock, one to stock. Kept these on ice. You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta pull back up. In like three months, it'll be 